Hi everyone, I'm Laura Judd and I work at NASA Langley Research Center. And today I'm going to share with you the unveiling of urban pollution patterns from a bird's eye view. Where in this talk, the birds of interest are modified NASA aircraft used for scientific research. This short talk will explain a little bit about the quality of the air we breathe and how NASA aircraft and satellite measurements add perspective for addressing air pollution concerns. So to begin, our air pollutant of focus for this talk is nitrogen dioxide, or what I will call NO2. Most NO2 emissions come from the burning of fossil fuels, so common sources include the tailpipes of our cars and smokestacks. Therefore, when you see the distribution of NO2 around the globe from satellites, we largely see the footprint of where people live, as seen here in this map of NO2 over the US from the ozone monitoring instrument on board NASA's Aura satellite. This satellite has been measuring since 2004. Unfortunately, exposure to air pollutants like NO2 and its resultant products of ozone and fine particulate matter have been linked to millions of deaths around the globe each year. However, in the US and many places around the world, levels of these air pollutants have decreased in the last few decades due to regulatory measures to improve the quality of the air we breathe. If you've ever spent time in a populated city and seen a dense rusty brown layer near the surface, such as the one pictured here from Houston, you have likely seen NO2 with your own eyes. NO2 reflects light in the red wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum, giving it that brown hue, and within the blue wavelengths it leaves a distinct fingerprint through its absorption. It is these fingerprints we can measure to remotely determine how much NO2 is located along the path length of sunlight that travels through Earth's atmosphere and back to the satellite or aircraft sensor. So what does the future of air quality measurements from above look like? We are approaching the dawn of new space-based capabilities with updated satellite sensors measuring at higher spatial resolution and at all hours of the day. To prepare for this, in the last decade we have deployed airborne-based measurements to capture an unprecedented view of NO2 in major U.S. cities during air quality field studies. While in the field, we can simulate what satellites measure by piloting aircraft over areas of interest, and I'll add that it's not a bad view for a day's work either. So next I will walk you through some results from field studies in Los Angeles and in New York City. Examples from Los Angeles will be shown on the left and New York City on the right. What is shown now is the annual average of NO2 over each city from the newest NO2 observing satellite currently in orbit, which is the European Sentinel-5P Tropomi instrument, which launched in 2017. Advantages to averaging satellite NO2 data include improving the spatial resolution as well as limiting data gaps due to clouds. But average values do not represent day-to-day -day variations in pollution levels. The second set of images represents what a single cloud-free overpass of Tropomi looks like over each city. You can see the individual pixels, which at best are 3.5 by 5.5 kilometers, and can see, at least in the case of New York City, that pollution levels can far exceed the annual value on this day. However, NO2 varies at much finer scales than can be seen by Tropomi. Images shown here were taken by NASA's airborne satellite proxy instruments, GCAS and GEOTAZO, during similar times of day that Tropomi overpasses in the early afternoon. Our aircraft doesn't only sample at one time per day though. In these cities, we were able to map three to four times from morning through late afternoon. From these images, you can see the dynamic variations of NO2, which represents the relationship between where emissions happen from roadways, airports, and other sources, and where the wind transports them before being removed from the atmospheric system through chemistry at timescales of a few hours. So how does this connect to future satellite missions for NASA? In 2022, NASA will launch the first geostationary satellite measuring air quality over North America. TEMPO, or Tropospheric Emissions Monitoring of Pollution, is dedicated to measuring the air we breathe every hour with the goal to better understand air quality challenges such as those from urban emissions, biomass burning, and their links to our health and well-being. These efforts are not just happening at NASA either. Around the globe, our partners in the air quality community have two additional geostationary missions planned. 
with the GEMS instrument launched by South Korea in 2020, and Sentinel-4 over Europe and Northern Africa launching in 2023. Together, with global observing low Earth orbiting satellites like TROBOMI, we are creating a constellation of air quality satellites to monitor the air we breathe from global to local scales. So stay tuned in the coming years as perspectives evolve through these unprecedented measurements.